a break, man. Give him a break because he sure deserves one. And when he's back from his break, you'll see his parts made in Japan. He is the modern man. So give him a break. First, we start with a strong zero. Okay. For some reason, the uh, lemon is very. It's me quick. Hi, hi. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Okay, we're out of here. Okay, guys, today. As you can tell by the headline, we're going to be talking about political idiots in Japan. There are quite a few. Now the J America doesn't have its share, but I wanted to uh, tell you about some of the retarded things that our Japanese... Oh, I said retarded, sorry. Uh, our... I'm not really into politics but, politics, but you do hear some ridiculous things that happen. And what I've done is I've made some notes on my uh, cell phone here. Down here, and I will be accessing those notes and tell you about some things that uh, have been happening in the last few months, actually. Okay. Now, before I get started, let me explain what I'm doing with this video. I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna walk up to uh, the busiest part of Nagoya's Sakaya area. A lot of foreigners. She's talking on Skype. And as I drink this Strong Zero, which as you know has 9% alcohol. I think my body uh, knows about the lemon, the feel of the lemon and feels like, I think it psychologically makes me feel a little bit more intoxicated than the other stuff, but they're all 9%. I've got a chest mount on. Enough of the technical techni technicalities and it's um, 2.7 um, K, 60 frames per second. GoPro black, okay. So, let me explain. Back in 2000, when Clinton was president, Clinton came to Japan and met the Prime Minister Mori. Mori was this big kind of a, a rugby player. I think he used to play, yeah, he used to play rugby and was a very big judo type uh, uh, stature of a man. And uh, let's just imagine that he got hit in the head too many times because he also was a bit, a bit slow and he was, Infamous, infamous for his uh, <laughs> his lack of wit and his gaffes, putting his foot his, into his mouth and just and just um, his actions as well. He often did things that were considered just uncouth. And anyway, the story goes that he, because he did not speak English, he took a few <clears throat> just a few lessons right before <laughs> he was going to meet Clinton and his wife. Bill Clinton, of course, we're talking about Bill Clinton. And um, he learned to say, how are you? But when he actually met Clinton, he goofed up and he said, who are you? And he had been coached, he had been coached that this is the way the pattern would go. How are you? And Clinton would say, uh, fine. And how are you? And he would say, me too. And that would be it. Okay, so one more time. How are you? I'm fine. Me too. But what he said by accident was, who are you? To which Clinton infamously replied, I'm Hillary's husband. To which he replied, me too. And that came down as a, as a very infamous and, um, and popular, it, went, it, went, it would have gone viral in those days if viral existed. But anyway. Everyone knows the story. It's an old story. Years later, they would attribute that story to Obama and Modi. But uh, that's apparently impossible since Obama and Modi were serving at different times. And they never would have met in an official capacity, at least. Okay, here is the kicker about the whole thing. As, as endearing as that story may seem, it never happened. It's apparently fake news. But it does, um, it's a great segue to 
uh, the latest collapse that are happening right now, especially the latest one, which happened just a couple of days ago. Well, actually today, just today. Uh, and it's the, not Me Too, like Mori remember said Me Too. I'm Hillary's husband as well. But there's something in Japan now called Kutu. Kutu. K-U-T-O-O. And we're going to get to that in a minute. But before that, I want to back up a little bit and tell you about some of the other gaffes. And, some, and, and two or three major players here. There's especially one guy who's really, really famous. So we're going to get to him first. Uh, let me see. Put that there. Let me ch change my... Level. Okay, so the first... Our hero... Our hero... Gav... Uh, just, uh, a, a hero uh, sticking his foot in his mouth guy is a guy named Yoshitaka Sakurada. Yoshitaka Sakurada. Yoshitaka Sakurada. Let's go this way. Let's go more. Yoshitaka Sakurada. Remember that. Is was <laughs> this guy's a this guy's a nut job. So he was in charge of cybersecurity. Okay. <laughs> and he uh, infamous, infamously said, "I'm great for it because I've never been hacked because I've never even touched a computer." So anyway. <laughs> I don't know if that's a, so much of, uh, as a gaffe as just a, just a, a kind of an interesting thing to say or an interesting mindset. Mm. Like, um, anyway, whatever. There's a whole bunch of possibilities there. But back in February, on February 12th, it was announced that Japan's star swimmer was not going to be able to uh, compete in the 2020 Olympics because she had leukemia. And of course, everyone was shocked. She's 19 or 20 or something. She's really young and she's just an amazing swimmer. And she announced, you know, she came back from training in, in Australia and said, I can't, I'm not going to be able to compete. And he said, I'm really disappointed. And I'm worried that we're not going to get as many gold medals now. And of course, the internet's like, what the F are you talking about, man? Oh, sorry, I said F. I meant, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? She's got leukemia. She might die, and you're worried about gold medals. So everyone was pissed off. That was his first gaffe, right? The swimmer's name is Rikako Ike, and she was uh, the internet flooded. The, twin, the Twitterverse flooded with support for her, and, and people making fun of him. It was back in February 12th. Okay, and then on March 24th, when he was at, he was giving some speech about the Tohoku earthquake, which happened on March 11th, remember? I believe it was March 11th, yeah. He said um, that when it, when it happened, they still were able to keep all the roads open. So it wasn't that big a deal. Uh, but if it happened in Tokyo, it would, it would stop everything. You know, if there was an earthquake and it hit Tokyo, it would just stop the whole world. There's a Zara, I don't Never go to Zara, but anyway. So that was another uh, big gaffe, and it wasn't, I don't really understand why it was such a big deal, but he just, you know, he's, he was under the false impression that um, the earthquake didn't really hurt the highways, but actually hi, the traffic was horrible afterwards. Oh, this is weird. Look at that. It's a magnet right there. What's there a magnet there? Okay. A little magnet. Huh. Pretty useful. Okay. Got to hang some of them. Anyway. It wasn't a big deal, but for some reason, uh, I guess it was a big. It was a big deal to the Japanese, and they all said, "Hey, we got to get him to re to resign and get him off the Olympic committee." Uh, yeah, that was after the first. Uh, that was the second time he made a really big mistake. And a few weeks later, on April 11th, he was actually fired, so he's out. On Mar May 13th, we're jumping about now. Uh, we have a different actor here, no, not the same politician. So that was, that was the same politician, right? On, on May 13th, a guy named Hodaka Maruyama uh, was visiting the Kuril Islands. Now, just in case you guys don't know, after World War II, Russia started occupying the Northern Islands, uh, the Northern Territories, or the Kuril Islands as they're called. And uh, they are north of Hokkaido. And there, there are four islands that are especially disputed. Four disputed islands. There was some kind of treaty, I think, in San Francisco back in, I don't remember when, but they decided that Japan does not 
have the, uh, does not own the islands anymore, but neither does Russia. So it's kind of, kind of weird. You can read all about it if you want. But anyway, the point is they're fighting about it. They're, they've been fighting over these... Oh, that's pretty weird. They've been fighting over these uh, northern territories for, for years and years now, ever since World War II ended. There are still some old people who used to live there. And every once in a while they go back and they they meet they uh, go back to the islands and they check out the, uh, the, the their own their own homesteads and anyway they, they're not they're not required to have visas or anything so that's cool so anyway this guy this politician Hodaka Mariyama was there with the old Japanese citizens who had gone back to their their uh, places of birth to visit and <laughs> he uh, he said, I think there's no way we're going to get these islands back unless we have a war. He actually said that to these people, which is kind of a crazy thing for a politician to say. All right, shorts. Then he also said that, just a second here. He also th said he thought <laughs> that the, the, he, was, he, was a, he was a guest, right? The, um, the locals had invited him to come along and visit the islands and torn jeans are seem to be coming back in Japan. Our girls wearing torn jeans or something. He said, you guys should have taken me out to like a brothel. And uh, that would have been better. <laughs> so he was bitching about not getting treated well. <laughs> he said, you should, you, if you really wanted to treat me well, you should have taken me to a brothel, which is kind of a ridiculous thing to say. But anyway. So that guy was named uh, Mariam, and he was, I think, in the Ishin political group, and they kicked him out. And they tried to get him to resign, but he refused. But it's pretty apparent that the guy's, you know, I mean, that's bizarre. That's <laughs> to, to insist that you should have been taken to a brothel and wind and die in that way. It's kind of crazy. Okay, so that was May 13th. May 15th, after that, uh, one political group passed this rules of conduct. They, they issued a kind of a little pamphlet to everyone to say, to tell them how to behave correctly because apparently nobody knew how to, how to speak in public. Every, everyone was saying just stupid things all the time. Of course, there are more and more. These are, I'm, just, I'm just giving you a sampling of the most, of some of the, the, the events that caught my eye. And I'm not, and like I said, I'm not really into uh, Japanese politics, but these, even these things struck me as funny or odd or notable. Okay, so now we're up to June 5th, which is, uh, yeah, just a few days ago, June 5th. And a guy named, oh, the, we're back to Sakurada again. So Sakurada, who, who used to be in charge of the cybersecurity, I believe, I, I, might, well, I might have that wrong. I feel like they've given this guy a lot of work, but he used to be in, in charge of cybersecurity. And then he used to be in charge of, um, of the Olympic Committee. Then he was fired from all that. And now I don't know what he's doing. I think he's just a politician. But um, but he was at some fundraiser, and he tells all his um, what do you call him? Your his 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 people from his district, I guess, that we need to we need to boost Japan's sagging birth rate. So everybody has to. Short long story short, everyone has to have three. Everyone has to have three kids. That's what he suggests to everyone. Everyone needs to have three children. And he tells the grandparents that they should be, they should be uh, telling their grandchildren to have three children. And you should bug everybody to have three children. <laughs> and of course, the internet again explodes and say, what the hell are you talking about, dude? You can't tell people just to have three children. That's just crazy. And a lot of internet comments, I'll, I'll leave links in the description, you can see them. Things like, dude, I would love to have three children, but I can barely afford one. And other people wrote, why don't you have the kids? And other people wrote, I, why don't you make a society where it's possible to have three children? Because it's not. It's not possible to have three children. It's just too expensive. I brought you to this location for the view. People hang out here. And it's all in some kind of event here. So let's see what, the, what is happening here. Let's see. We're doing some signing here, I don't know. That, that is this guy. 
マジックプリンスそれ何あのジャパニーズアイドルアイドル、うん、この二人五人の五人の二人。ああ、うん。高校生ですか？高校一緒。一緒じゃコスプレ。ああ、コスプレコスプレみたい。これもコスプレ？これもコスプレ。本当？本当？本当？バレちゃった。本当？いやいや本当。本当？え？結構多い結構多い。え、ほみんなわざと。今日は今日は撮影撮影当然合わせて合わせて。本当。面白い,白い。アメリカでそのことしたらみんながおかしいと思われる。ああ、じゃあ本当に本当に高校生じゃない。多分ね。ああ、勉強になりました。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。本当本当に高校生だと思います。ありがとうございます。可愛いね。ありがとうございます。So apparently some idols are doing something. There's five idols and only two are there, and they're signing something or other. So girls have dressed up in cosplay to、uh, <laughs> for the photo op. I guess that's pretty funny, huh? Okay. Let's go back to our list because it gets better. So Sakura, anyway, he's 69 years old. He tells everyone, "I would ask, like, I would like to have you all ask your children or grandchildren to have at least three children each." Okay.、And、of course, everyone goes crazy. It's angry. So I mean that's that's just a, a ridiculous thing to tell people to just have children.、Um, I mean we can go into the issue of how what we can do to to help people. I, I'll, I'll give a, give you a really a brief opinion. If you want to influence public opinion, you can't have old politicians who don't have sex anymore, and you can't have children anymore to be telling people what to do. If you really want to influence,、uh, I think the the youth to have, or, or or the Japanese childbearing women of Japan to have children, you've got to get. Young women, young famous idols and entertainers and celebrities to do the same. If it becomes fashionable at that level, then I think you know humans all over the world are basically sheep. They'll follow suit, but you can't follow suit when an old guy tells you to have kids because he's 69 years old, right? It's just ridiculous. Anyway, so now we come to today's、uh, scandal. Oh, which is actually also June fifth. It was the same day. That was the same day, but it was、uh, there was something on it today as well. Today's scandal is Takumi Nemoto, another another politician, who has decided that、uh, women should wear high heels at work. And look, now looking at we're out tonight having fun, and you see that some there's there's、uh, some high heels around here. There are women walking with high heels, but some women with not high heels, just tennis shoes, and so. But if you go to work, you should wear high heels. It's part of your obligation, he said. And of course, everyone's like, "What the fuck are you talking about, man? You do not need high heels to do your job." So he's getting a lot of slack. But what's funny to me, as an American, is that they've turned this into a kudu movement. So they're mimicking the Me Too movement and they're turning it into into kudu movement. And ku is a play on word. That's kind of、uh, Nihongo no dajare, and、uh, it's a play on words because ku ku can represent two things: either kutsu, which is shoes, or kutsu, which is pain. Kutsu is shoes, and kutsu is pain. So kutu <laughs> is、uh, also literally also shoes or also pain. There's some high heels there, so that's the whole scandal. Okay. Anyway, what do you think? What do you guys think? It's kind of ridiculous, huh? And that's basically my news. <laughs> and I made this video because I wanted to stay on the horse. You know, I don't, I didn't want to, I want to, I want to do my best to make as many videos as possible re regarding news and keep keep you up to date what's happening in Japan. But also make them interesting by giving you some scenery. So this is what I did. Anyway, if you like this video, and if you have any opinion about、um, what we talked about today. Then feel free to comment.、I、do appreciate the comments. I do read the comments.、Uh, I hope you did listen to me before you make some comment about what I believe. I, I did that video, that last video, the gun video, and people just uh, 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 excuse the pun, but jumped the gun regarding what they thought I meant. There's a lot of things I did not think, but they thought I did think them, and they 
argued against those things that I did not say or think. But that's the way the internet works, right? You can give out a message and no matter what you, oh, look at this guy hitting on this girl. Whatever what you say, whatever you say, people misinterpret it and turn it into something else. All right, guys. That's all I got for you. Let's um, close out this video as we watch this idol called Magic Prince signing, signing, well, I don't know what they're signing, but. Let me just